Hi, welcome to my video on Aromethic Sequence Part 2. And in this video, I'll derive the formulas for Aromethic Sequence and do some examples. Let's look at the sequence of 1, 3, 5, 7. And etc. is going to continue on to a 9 and 11, etc. In this sequence, this is the f 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is T1, this is T2, this is T3, and this is T4. So if we do a table, notice the table has gone sideways. If I put N in for this and put TN in for these, so this is N. And this is Tn. So n is the number of the term, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. And Tn, term 1, is the value. T2 is 3. T3 is a 5. And T4 is a 7. And then, is the sequence arithmetic? Let's see. 3 subtract 1 is 2. 5 subtract 3 is 2, 7 subtract 5 is 2, and we have D1 is equal to 2, constant level difference. The value of T1, the value of T1 is a 1. Each term of the sequence can be expressed with T1, which is 1, and D1, which is 2. Let me explain. So the sequence is 1, 3, 5, and 7. So let's take the sequence and each term. So this is a 1. And notice that the 3 is 1 plus 2. The 5 is a 1 plus 4. And the 7 is 1 plus 6. And we can break that down even further. That's a 1. And the 2 is, there's 1, 2. And the 4 is 2, 2's. And the 6 is 3, 2's. And we can break that even further. A 1 is 1 plus 0, 2. Notice 1. 0 times 2 is 0, so 1 plus 0, 2 is the same as 1. And we write these down again, not changing them. And based on that, what we have is, if we look at them closely, so this is T1. T1 is 1 plus 0. 0, 2. This is the second term, which is T2, 1 plus 1 times 2. This term here is T3, which is 1 plus 2 times 2. And this one is that's T4, which is 1 plus 3 times 2. So this is T1. T2, T3, T4. And if you notice in each of these terms, this number right here is T1. And this number right here is your difference. So each term is expressed in terms of the 1 and the 2, which is your first term and your difference. Well, what we have right here is a 0. What we have right here is, let's go right up to the number 1. What we have right here is a 2. And what we have here is a 3. Notice that these numbers... 0, 1, 
2 and 3. 0 is 1 less than the term number. The term is 1. This one is 1 less. The term is 2. This one is 1 less. The term is 3. This one is 1 less. The term is 4. This one is 1 less. So these numbers, the number that I'm showing you, these numbers right here, these, the number is 1 less than the term number. Again, 0 is 1 less than 1. 1 is 1 less than 2. So, what happens is that for any term in an arithmetic sequence, Tn is T1, that was T1, plus the number is 1 less than the term number, so the term number is N, so 1 less than N, term number is N, so this number here is 1 less than this, and your difference is D. So that's where, again, Tn is the nth term of the sequence. T1 is the first term of your sequence. N is the term number. And D is the constant level constant level one difference between two successive and I'm making sure that you understand between two successive terms so this is the formula and I derived it through this pattern showing you so Tn is T1 plus N minus 1D. Let's continue. The formula for an arithmetic sequence which is Tn equals T oops T make sure that's a T T1 plus N minus 1 D. This equation can be simplified and you're going to see it to Tn equals A N plus B. So we're going to write down this equation and then we're going to simplify it to this form. Again, this is T1, that's your term 1. This is the difference. So when you multiply this all out, you will get A N plus B. So what we're going to do is do some examples. Simplify each state the values of a and b. So you take tn is 2 plus 3 times n is 3n. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So tn is 3n minus 1. So a is 3 and b is negative 1. So we're going to simplify again. tn 6 Negative 2 times n is negative. Make, instead of putting the plus there, make it a negative. 2n. Negative 1 times negative 2 is plus 2. So tn to 2n plus 8. So a is negative 2 and b is 8. So notice when you multiply your difference, which is 3, by this uh, binomial, you get 3 times n, 3 times negative 1, and then you add up your terms. And notice it's in descending order of n. And that's the same what we did here. So, find 
Tn equals An plus B for each arithmetic sequence. So we have T1 and we have D. It's an arithmetic sequence and the difference is 10. So that means Tn equals T1 plus N minus 1 times D. So T1 is 6 plus N minus 1 times 10. So 6 plus 10 times N, 10N, negative 1 times 10, negative 10, and we have 10N minus 4. So filling in the term 1 and the difference here and expanding and multiplying, we will get TN equals AN plus B, where A is 10, B is negative 4. And let's practice again. So TN equals T1 plus N minus 1 times D. So T1 is negative 7 plus N minus 1 times negative 3. So negative 7, negative 3 times N, negative 3N. Take that an N. Negative 1 times negative 3 is plus 3. And we, so TN becomes negative 3n, negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. And again, <clears throat> we're going to do, notice the pattern, again the formula, tn is t1 plus n minus 1 times d. t1 is the first term, difference, and we come up with the nth term of a degree, of a sequence, of a degree, of a sequence. So, Let's find Tn equals An plus B again for this arithmetic sequence. Now, notice it says for each arithmetic sequence. Well, that means I'm going to do the difference. So 9 minus 7 is 2. 11 minus 9 is 2. 13 minus 11 is 2. So that means we have the D1 is a constant level difference of 2. And we notice also that T1 is 7. T1 is right there, is 7. So if Tn equals T1 plus N minus 1 times D, T1 is 7. N minus 1, the difference is 2. Multiply. We have to multiply these two before we add. So N times 2 is 2N. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, and that gives us Tn equals 2n. 5 minus 2, sorry, 7 minus 2 is 5. I was given the answer then. So Tn is 2n plus 5 as the equation that represents this arithmetic sequence. And this is arithmetic because it's got a level 1 difference of 2. Now let's do this one. Again, don't forget, you can pause your video at any time and work these out. 14 minus 19, subtract 19 is negative 5. 9 subtract 14 is negative 5. 4 subtract 9 is negative 5. Again, notice that D1 is constant, which is a negative 5. Notice that T1 is 19. There it is right there, it's your first term. So therefore, Tn is T1 plus N minus 1 times D. T1 is the first term, 19. N minus 1. And the difference is negative 5. Multiply first by PEMDAS, 19. Negative 5 times N, negative 5N. Negative 1 times negative 5 is a plus 5. And Tn, we put in descending order with n first, so negative 5n. And add, we get 24. So that's the n term of the arithmetic sequence that represents these numbers. So what it means, if you look back, if you put, this is number 1 term. So if you put a 1 in here, T1, put a 1 in, 2 plus 5 is 7. You put a 2 in, 2 times 2 is 
4 plus 5 is 9, so it makes sense. And again here, if you take 1 and put it in here, T1, put a 1 in, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5, plus 24 is 19. And if you check them like that, that tells if this equation is true. Notice also, this is a 2. Notice the difference is a 2. Your difference is always right here, because this is going up by 2. Notice that this is going down by 5, minus 5. So there's your difference. Now it says find t22 if t1 is 3 and the difference is 8. So we could keep, you know, we could start with 3 and add on 8. So we can go 3, add on 8 to get 11, add on 8 to get a 19, and add on 8 to get 27. We keep going like that and we will get to the 22nd term. But that would probably take a while. So, but what about if we derive the equation? Tn equals T1 plus N minus 1D. Notice that T1 is 3 given to us. And our difference is 8. That's given to us, already given. So let's fill that in. So T1 is 3. N minus 1 times our difference is 8. 3. 8 times n is 8n. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. So we get tn equals 8n. And 3 minus 8 is negative 5. But we want t22. So that means that n is 22. So that means that we take 22 and sub it in. So if we take T22, we sub 22 in the place of N, and we solve that out. So 8 to 8 to 16, 176 minus 5, so that's 171. So T22 is 171, unless you want to keep writing them all out like this to get there. But if you derive the equation in terms of TN, and then sub in the 22, then it makes more, again, whatever, which way you do it. But this is a better way. You're using the math that you've learned. Okay, let's continue with some more. Find the first three terms of this. Notice that this is represented in arithmetic sequence. So if n is 1, then t1 is 7 times 1 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. T2. T2, n is 2. So 7 times 2 minus 3. 14 minus 3 is 11. And they want the first three terms. So T3, 7 times 3 minus 3. 21 minus 3 is 18. So the first three terms are 4, 11, and 18. That's the first three terms of the sequence. And again, notice that 7 added on to 4 is 11. 7 added on to 11 is an 18. So these are the free three terms. First three terms. There are more, but these are the first three. Okay, another one. To, again, you can pause your video at any time. Which equation represents the sequence 13, 9, 5, negative 1? Okay, so they all begins with TNs, okay? Notice that the sequence is going down. It's going down by, notice, 13 and 9 is, what's 9 minus 13? Negative 4. What's 5 minus 9? Negative 4. So it can't be the 4, so that's plus. It can't be this one, because it's plus. So it has to be one of these two. So the difference, so if we take the 13, the 9, the 5, and the negative 1, you can see 9 minus 13 is negative 4. 5 minus 9 is negative 4. So the negative 4 is your difference, and your difference is right here, which is your A. But which equation represents that? So if we uh, take right here, just take one of them, try the first term, try T1 where n is 1. 
So that's negative 4 plus 9, which is 5. So it can't be this one. So this is the answer. That's one way. You can look at an eyeball and it's going down, so it's got to be negative 4. So if you try 1 here, put a 1 here, and put a 1 here. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, negative 4 and 17, 13. Now, the other way is to come up with that D1 is negative 4. And notice that your first term is 13. So T1 is 13. So sub that into the equation. So Tn is T1 plus N minus 1D. So T1 is 13 plus N minus 1 times negative 4, and that gives you 13. Negative 4 times n is negative 4n. Negative 1 times negative 4 is 4. And 13, negative 4. Oh, I have a... Okay. What did I do? I put in t1 is 13. I put in a negative 4. So that makes it negative 4n plus 17, right? That's what tn is right there. But it's quicker to look at it's going down, so it can't be 4 because 4 will be going up because it's going down. And then put a t1 in one equation. If it, does, if it works here, then this would be the answer. If it works here, this is the answer. Or you can derive it out. And again, let's try this one. Find the value of t53 in the sequence. So 53 terms. So we want to come up with equations of this. So 7 subtract 4 is 3. 10 subtract 7 is 3. 13 subtract 10 is 3. So that means d1 level difference is 3. t1 is a 4. So tn equals t1 plus n minus 1 d, t1 is 4, plus n minus 1 d is 3, so 4 plus 3 times n, 3n, three, 3 times negative 1, negative 3, so it's a 3n plus 1. So if we take the equation tn is 3n plus 1, so what's t53? So T53, N is 53, sub it in. And 3 times 53, 3 3 is a 9, 159 plus 1. And so it's a 160 for the answer. Again, you derive the equation and then sub in the 53 in the place of N and you'll get the 53rd term. And another question very similar to this. How many terms are in this sequence? So this sequence is going from 18, 24, 30, and we got a whole mess of numbers in between up to uh, 336. So we have, let's see, let's come up with the equations. So this is 24 minus 18 is 6. 30 minus 24 is 6. So the D1 difference is 6. The T1 is 18 and this is we don't know what this term is so this is the t and term is 336 this is the last term but we don't know what the n is so let's come up with the equation tn equals t1 plus n minus 1 d t1 is 18 plus n minus 1 d is 6, 18 plus n times 6 is 6n, negative 1 times 6 is negative 6, so 6n and 18 minus 6 is 12, so that's tn. Now, we, we don't know what n, tn is, this is the last term, so this is 336 equals 6n plus 12. I'm going to leave the 6, I could move the 6n over here and make it 
and then move to 12. Leave the 12 where it is and move to like that. And that's like solving it for x, where the x goes to the left and numbers go to the right. And let's move up right here. 6n is, and uh, that's a negative. So 12 out of that is 24. So it's 3, 24. And now we divide by negative 6. And negative into negative positive. Uh, 6 into 3, 24. 5, 6 is there, 30. 24, so we got a 4. So positive 50. So that's the 54th term of that sequence. And if you had to write all them up to get to there, you'd be there a long time. So notice the questions can be worked around. Very similar to working like X's and Y's, but you have to know this formula. Tn is T1 plus N minus 1D. And that simplifies to the uh, Tn is An plus B. So here's some extra questions worked out for you. Hopefully you understand how to work these out in terms of an arithmetic sequence. And if you do, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.